Welcome back to Wine Du Jour. Rob Smith, Todd Anseth, and myself were talking about these beautiful three wines that we're having this evening. This wine is from, I said Falco, and you'll find out what that means in a, in a moment. You know where Umbria is? You've probably heard that term, Umbria, sometime in your life in Italy. The grapes that grow there are a little bit unique. Rob, tell us about that. Well, yeah, the, the Pertikaya is, this one is a blend. This is a Sangiovese blend, about 70% Sangiovese. And most people know that uh, Sangiovese on the Italian side. Uh, 15% of this is called Corallino, which is actually more of a blending grape for color. And then the last 15% is a grape called Sagrantino. So Sagrantino is only indigenous to Montefalco. And I love saying Montefalco. 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 Same to you, fella. Exactly. <laughs> so there's only about... 130 hectares of of uh, sangrin, uh, sangrentino that is planted. Um, if we're going to convert that, that's probably about 250, 260 acres. Somewhere, yeah. Right, so in there. So there's only about 20 producers in the world that produce sangrentino. Uh, the Sagrantino grape. It's one of those 200 varietals uh, in Italy that I talked about that nobody else even knows about. Right. This gentleman, um, his, believe it or not, his name is Guido. Guido, <laughs> Guido, believe it or not, is about 75 years old. He um, he worked with some, for some of the larger wineries as a, as a younger uh, adult. Um, he was one of the first people to actually go to school for agriculture, farming, and viticulture in Italy. And his parents said, why are you doing this? And <laughs> so he, he worked for some of the bigger wineries. And at about age 65, they said, thank you very much for your time and effort, but your pension is in. See you later. And he said, well, I'm not done. So he was driving around and looking and found, these, found 15 hectares uh, right around Montefalco, decided to purchase them. And at 75 years young, uh, he's been producing these wines. Um, after the very first um, vintage, he was winning awards. It's called the Tre Bicchere Award. And so he's been, been winning awards with all of his wines um, ever since they first came out. Um, this one is a DOC, which in the Italian regulations basically means... Uh, that this wine has to sit in uh, stainless steel barrels for at least 12 months and then in the bottle for six months before it can be released. So there are some, some pretty stringent laws, but you'll find this that it's super easy to drink. It's absolutely phenomenal. It doesn't need to be decanted. Um, just lots and lots of fun. The, the food here uh, is incredible. The food coming out to go with this will be out in just a moment. Uh, it is rubbed dry rub beef medallions with Bordelais sauce and port cheddar mashed potatoes. Yeah. Now, if that doesn't go good with this, come up and see me. You've done something completely wrong. I don't know what it is. But uh, it, they're running a little bit late in the kitchen. They're coming in with it as we speak, but we've got to go off the air here pretty quick. I want to thank you for listening to Wines Is Your, America's number one wine syndicated wine show they should listen to want to know more about my favorite subjects log on to my website leskincade.com or visit facebook or twitter uh, on all current updates i have to tell you are pretty good todd anseth at mccormick and schmick restaurant thank you very much for being here and i would say rob smith uh, from uh, pemberton distributorship thank you very much uh, for being here, my broadcast engineer, Jeremy Knight, for his work, uh, uh, and also V Asian TV High Definition for making television in Las Vegas on cable TV, direct TV, and Asia, all over Asia, from China to India, with this show three times a day for seven days in a row. Unbelievable. Thanks for choosing and listening to Wine Tajour from the left coast, from the right coast, and from all around the world on the internet. I'm Les Kincaid. Good night, everybody.
Thanks for watching Wines Du Jour. We had a great time here at McCormick and Schmick. Great restaurant. If you're going to be in Las Vegas or if you live in Las Vegas, make sure if you love seafood and you love steaks, McCormick and Schmick is the place to go. And then, of course, we had three great wines, a wonderful California Chardonnay and also a Central Coast Pinot Noir. And then last but certainly not least, a beautiful imported Italian wine to go with a little bit of beef and Bordelais sauce that the chef put together. I want to thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you next time right here on Wine